We can be like that overplayed uh, Stewie joke from Family Guy. Guys, remember how funny it was when he was when they gave him a British voice, and then that was like three minutes of several episodes. That was good stuff. I really, I really do hate Family Guy. It's contributed so much to the the creative bankruptcy of the Western animation. This is true. However, I think it's funny sometimes. Well, the problem isn't that Family Guy isn't funny. Sometimes, even in newer episodes, Family Guy has jo like there will be jokes that are like funny. You know. The issue is that there's absolutely no grace or dignity with which they bridge the good and the bad jokes. You know what I mean? So instead of it feeling like a show that has its ups and its downs, it feels like you're, you're like eating a pile of shit that sometimes has corn kernels in it. You know, it, like, I feel like there's, it, like, like the way Family Guy is structured is such that you're supposed to feel bad when you enjoy a joke. Like, that's the healthy way to engage with it. Which probably isn't good for a show <laughs> meant to be entertaining. The Simpsons is just depressing. And I've never been a big fan of South Park. I just It just doesn't resonate. Like, Western adult animated comedy has just never resonated with me that much. Even um, Rick and Morty has, has like really kind of like left me behind after the first two seasons, I think. Like, same. In the later seasons of Rick and Morty, there have been funny jokes. A lot of funny jokes. It's generally a pretty well-written show, you know? It's just like... All of the anarchic, like, edge that made the first two seasons work kind of falls apart when, like, Rick and Morty are getting, like, guest appearances on the new Space Jam. You know what I mean? Like, when, when McDonald's is doing their Szechuan sauce, like, promotional deal, and they're in the new Space Jam, and, like, it's like, oh, God, like, you, you, you can't pretend to be like the Maverick show anymore. You're one of the biggest media franchises now. Especially in like the adult animated comedy game. What about Futurama? A Futurama is good, mostly because it keeps getting cancelled. <laughs> okay, the I know people are mad that Futurama gets cancelled a lot, but do you really want it to turn into The Simpsons? Maybe it's for the best, you know? Like, maybe it coming back for, like, a few seasons, all the, like, all the good ideas they have saved up getting used, and then it falling off the face of the Earth again. Maybe that's better than it just being, like, an infinite zombie, like The Simpsons, just living, you know, forever interminably. Um, I don't think a lot of people understand how important um, temperance is when it comes to these shows, you know? Like, if you play out... If you play your hand out too far, you don't just cheapen what comes after, you cheapen what comes before, too, you know? It's like uh, Game of Thrones. Nobody talks about Game of Thrones anymore. Nobody cares about Game of Thrones. The only time people bring up Game of Thrones is to say, well, it started good, or to bitch about the ending. Like, it, it, the ending of the Game of Thrones show just tanked the whole the whole thing, you know? Um, so, and I, I feel like in the same way, you know, when you have these comedy shows go on forever and ever, you really, you leave a sour taste in people's mouths, and it makes them less charitable to the jokes that have been done before, you know? And by the way, I really think it's a testament to the quality of the original Simpsons episodes. Say, I don't know, seasons... At three through ten to be charitable, and uh, maybe three through eight, you know, it, it, just vaguely in that area, you know, not everyone's seen everyone. Um, but I think it's a testament to the quality of those earlier seasons, how funny they are still. Like, Simpsons has been around basically your whole life, it's everywhere, it's played out, it's tired, it's a zombie, it's over, it's done, it's, you know. And, and then you go back and watch some of the earlier stuff, and it's actually still pretty funny. And I really think that speaks to how good the original stuff was right there. And, th and that, I think, you know, that's important. Kind of unironically sad to watch The Simpsons. Now. Yeah, it is a little bit. But, you know, it's had its heyday. It's not, um, you know, it's not um, worthless. What about Has Been Hotel? Well... Has been Hotel has only had one like prom it's only ever had like a pilot, right? I don't I don't think Has been Hotel is at risk of playing itself out anytime soon. I feel like it's got a little bit more gas in the tank. Have I seen Smiling Friends? Yeah, I really liked um I really liked Smiling Friends. I think the thing that I liked the most about Smiling Friends is that it wasn't mean. Like 
it was the exact right kind of show where you would expect it to be really mean, but it kind of wasn't, you know? Like, obviously, it was incredibly edgy, but the the humor of the show doesn't really derive from mocking or humiliating people, you know? Uh, which Which is uncommon. I don't know. Yeah, I liked it. Oh, oh, I've seen BoJack Horseman, yeah. Have you seen Super Eye Patch Wolf's video on The Simpsons? Uh, I don't know. I don't think so. No, I didn't. I took my meds today. Dying to know your thoughts on Deep Space Nine so far. Well, so far, like, I've only seen, like, the first eight episodes, and it's very cheesy. Um, I definitely see glimpses of the stuff that I loved from The Next Generation, but it hasn't, like, fully developed yet, so I'm gonna give it some time, you know. The first season of The Next Generation wasn't, like, amazing either, you know. It takes time to fit into your role, get all the actors acclimated. Do you like video essays? Uh, well, yeah, I mean, video essays are, like, half of YouTube. Um, well, not really half YouTube, but half of media and politics YouTube. Uh, Y'all asking me a lot of questions here. Which FNAF animatronic is your favorite? Yeah, yeah. Very good. My equivalent to Simpsons old episodes is Calvin and Hobbes. Read it again if you only did as a kid at Super Bowl time. Oh, oh, Calvin and Hobbes. And I've reread Calvin and Hobbes. Calvin and Hobbes is like eternally good. It is insane how good Calvin and Hobbes is. And I think in large part that's because it hasn't been cheapened by commercialism. Um, because, uh, you know, the, the author uh, or the artist... Um, didn't like allow it to be abused through adaptation and merchandise and blah blah. But the Calvin and Hobbes is incredibly good, like really, 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 really good. So good, uh, it, it's it almost defies like comprehension. Honestly, how effectively he was able to consistently capture this, um, this this like a, a kind of like well tempered cynicism through the framework of childhood optimism. You know. Bill Watterson, that's right. I've got a bad memory for names, but yeah. He wanted total control of merchandising design, not that he was against marketing. Yeah, yeah, I just mean, like, he didn't let it, like, he, he like, it wasn't just like he sold it off to Disney, and Disney went and made a movie about it or whatever, you know. So, ran off with it. Those Calvin pissing stickers are all bootleg, too. I don't think Bill would mind those Calvin pissing stickers. I don't think that cheapens Calvin and Hobbes at all. That's just a, that's just like some, go, that's just like a, a goofy, it's just dumb goofy shit, you know? I don't think that meaningfully cheapens the work. Watch Arcane. I, I will watch Arcane. No, I'm not going to watch Halo. Um, have you seen Revolutionary Girl Utena? Um, I've seen like the first half of it. I never finished it. Just, I just, I draw, I just, it, I dropped off and didn't pick it back up. I really want to, though. I enjoyed it, even though it reused a fuck ton of animation. Oh my god, did Revolutionary Girl Utena reuse a fuck ton of animation? It is insane. Um, I actually feel like a lot of people don't know about Revolutionary Girl Utena now because if they did, there would be way more Twitter bios where the avatar is her face, the protag, you know? Like, she's underrepresented, proportional to what you would expect her to be. Like, given what she's like. You know what I mean? Have I seen Haikyuu? No, I have not. Have I watched Morbius? No, but I'm, um, I'm on the Morbius train anyway. <laughs>